Also breaking, a 12-year-old girl who was just walking into a grocery store is shot during a drive-by shooting. This happened in the Feltonville section of the city. Let's go right to Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts along the 4600 block of Hurley Street. Good evening, Alicia. Siapa, Jessica, good evening to you. Again, another very active scene here in Feltonville. We do want to start with an update on that little girl's condition. We just spoke to Philadelphia police. The 12 year old shot once in the stomach. She is now being treated at St. Christopher's Hospital for Children. We are told she is in stable condition and actually up and speaking to doctors and nurses. So, a very good sign for sure indeed there. But I want to step aside here. All of this unfolding at the corner store behind me here shortly after 3 o'clock. That's when police say a group of 10 people were standing outside that corner store when a car, possibly a red four door sedan, opened fire in the middle of broad daylight, firing into a crowd of at least 10 people. That little girl, the 12 year old, the only person shot, she was shot once in the stomach, but there are still bullet casings all around here. The car behind us is also dented with several bullet hole uh, impressions there. Police tell us now they are looking for. Or possibly that red Acura and that those shots were fired from a back passenger seat. They say they do have video incidents, uh, the video of the incident as it occurred, but right now they are speaking to the tragedy of this event, especially occurring as so many students were walking by as school had just let out. Hopefully, we'll have some video out soon of this car, but we're looking for anybody who has any information. Please come forward if you have this young kid. Should be home studying and reading books and instead sitting in the hospital worrying about her health. And again, the update right now that little girl is alert. She is talking to doctors. This intersection, very busy right now. Again, this happening as students were coming in and out of that grocery store, having just let out from school. We are working now with the school district of Philadelphia to get an update on who that little girl may be, her condition, and more details from police as to the car that they are looking for and possibly a description of those three people inside who fired those shots. For now, reporting live in Feltonville, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you very much, Alicia.